This is the Virgin Run. We'll leave Troy's in there, that's it. Gus, frying the fuel. This is fun. You guys like experimenting? This is why this is a restricted area. You guys are in here by my permission only, that's correct? Just say correct. Sure. What did you say all day for the last three weeks? Whatever Mike says goes. Yeah, but you didn't like that. So now whatever Mike says, we do the opposite. Uh-oh. Okay, so now we got to figure this out. Now I got to get the book out. Yep. We got an error code ready. Yeah, I think it'll go. Why is this thing only at 22? My friend Jumper Pack is getting low. Look at the volt meter. I don't have one out here. One out of the truck or the one. I wonder if the jumper pack is dying. This plugged in unless the other end of it ain't plugged in. That's very possible. Oops, I missed. You want to bring the cord for the jumper pack too? Bring the cord for the jumper pack, maybe, too, when you're... These bags are probably getting shit in there. We've had that jumper pack for years, right? Yeah. Maria Lebo. You're not in there, you're not in frame. Sit when you sit. But basically I got the function of it, right? I mean All we gotta do is to get it to start clicking. They said it's a lot quieter in the manual. That fuel pump is only a half stroke versus a full stroke. It'll probably go twice as fast, but only a lot quieter. Apparently somebody complained about that in the woods. Maybe the deer or the antelope. F08 again. Combustion air fan defective. It's brand new. You got something jerky in there? What? You that? No. You just never mind about that stuff. What about this word right there? The what? Word. That's the the um, diagnostic tool wire. She's smoking. Fuel's coming. You know what we found out? The son of a bitch is really voltage sensitive. That had what I have, 22 and a half. 
they give an error code so all you guys want to know about these pros your batteries are just that little bit low you're screwed well it ain't started yet but it's gonna the fuel pump actually ignited <laughs> how do you guys do that you got air bubbles <laughs> hey we're doing good this is what that Canadian guy says proof of concept you know, you put it together and you... Oh, Troy's getting his balls wet. And <laughs> point that... Before it gets too hot, point it that direction, would you? And, like, just push it right at the floor. Huh? Straighten it out. Why? Because I want it to. It's cool. It's going to go over to the There you go. Oh, see? And now there's our first fuel leak. I didn't like that tank because that, that grommet just sticks up in there. you just saw it it worked don't mind my mess everywhere but work like a hot damn and in early in that in that uh, <laughs> early on in that thing I'll tell you what, what you were watching I was trying to if I show it, I'll try to, I'll speed it up, but I was having trouble with this. Well, not trouble with it, but it kept telling me that, uh, it kept giving me a code already, over voltage, under voltage. So I was using my jumper pack, which is, I didn't realize how old it is. My 12 volt, 24 volt jumper pack, and apparently it is, I looked at the batteries. I've had it since 2011 with the original batteries in it, so... I was using it as the power source and it just didn't 
that thing is that sensitive. So I learned something today just from that. If your batteries are only got 23 volts, 22 and a half to 23, that new Pro Wabasto Ninety Pro will not work. It will not work. So we dragged over some big old brand new Ponzi batteries just to hook them on at my fancy little plastic clamps and uh, make a 24 volt. And she just took right off and she chooched away. So I let her run for. Well, you see what I got? A little mark on the fuel tank here. I don't know if you can see it, but that was about an hour's worth of run time there. Um, and this is still hot. It, it shut off, oh, I want to say probably, oh, 3 o'clock. And I had it running since 2, basically. So an hour it ran. They got up to 130 degrees in that tank, which is very respectable because we poured it right out of the spigot. In my spigot is a well which comes out of the ground at 55 degrees so it took it up you do the math I'm too tired to and uh, I'll show you in my, let's see if I can get you on here and show you my infrared device look at the heat in there yet she's still 114 degrees Isn't that something? You can tell where the water level is. I love this thing for troubleshooting. Yeah, it's snap-on. Fleur is probably better, but Fleur doesn't come into my shop once a week. And Anyways, so I proved it out. The moral of the story is the reason I got this all done in this particular fashion and why I was doing it. Whoa, hang on there, Mike. Why I was doing it now was because I explained it before. This harness doesn't come as a kit. It comes in the kit. But the kit was designed to adapt to a 2014 or 15 Ponza on up. So I had to figure it out with actual schematics and stuff and then figure this out. And I got this, everything figured out. So now we're going to install the heater. I will make up the harness that I need, which is pretty simple. There's only five wires that I need to use. And uh, but we know where we got to get. We got to pull power from in the cab for the for the truck timer. We got to pull power from the batteries for the for the unit. And there's just basically a signal wire between them. So that's how simple it is. A lot of the other stuff was for uh, auxiliary stuff. Um, yeah, so that's the primary goal of this thing. And from now on, when I do the opening these things up and clean them, I'll have a place to come over here and just plug them in and fire them up. And as, as far, I actually have a computer I can hook up to it too. Anyway, so I'm done with that project. So this will be the f final answer. I'm done. So I think it worked out pretty damn slick test station, if you will, a test stand. Yep. You heard it. It's pretty cool. Okay, over and out till the next one. We'll talk to you later, sooner or later. We'll see you later. Bye.